Oh, I get to have some ice cream. Yeah. Give me those ice creams. These two fellas bought all of mine ice cream. Ah, I eventually sold out of everything. What? Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Okay, so I can't buy any ice cream. That's a bit disappointing. North seems like the way I should go. What's up, these guys? He seems happy. Oh, hey. We're like talking, uh, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? I won't tell. Oh! So that's an elevator there. What about over this side? Uh, oh! Can I climb up the vine? I can't. I can't go, can't go up the steps either. Okay, so that's the way I came. So I guess I'll just go north, see what happens. Oh! It's like a really nice restaurant or something. What's this paper? Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sans, are you involved in this? Hey, I heard you going to the car. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Uh, okay, sure. We'll get some dinner first. Great. Thanks for treating me. I didn't say I was going to pay. <laughs> Over here. I know a shortcut. Wait, we're going to Grillby's again? Oh. Well, here we are. So... Your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, buddo. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Maybe. Oh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey. Let me tell you a story. So, I'm a sentry in the Snowden Forest, right? I sit there and watch out for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. <laughs> oh, wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The virus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. And they did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. Uh, okay. Interesting. Is this the door that we saw, uh... Yeah, down by Snowden, there was a locked door, right? Very mysterious door. I remember it. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, and then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. <clears throat> Interesting. Do you get what I'm saying? The promise I made to her? You know, what would happen if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Wow. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Kinda, I've died like five times or something. Huh. <clears throat> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. 
if someone really cares about you. Hmm. Huh. The woman on the other side of the door. Is she like my mother or something? Oh my gosh! <laughs> There's like a devil guy over there. Oh, look at this guy. He's a little happy guy. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I just kind of consuming you off this ficus. <laughs> That's all you've got to live off now, huh? This devil guy. Originally, we dug mazes for, with puzzles in order to fail human attacks. But now, building things, winding and confusing, that's some awful tradition. You can't go, ugh, two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. I work at the car. Inside the maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. I sure love puzzle. Okay. <laughs> oh, this guy. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian in this fata. Like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. Oh, I remember fighting one of these out in the uh, the wilderness, but I spared it, so he didn't get killed. So that's cool. It says blub. Oh, I thought it was a painting. I didn't realize it's a big guy. Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your. Okay. Well, we're done talking to you. Wait. What? Oh. What is this place? The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel. It fills you with determination. Well, it's a hotel. We know that now. <laughs> Welcome to the MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice! MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. You pride yourself on a lot of things. Man, there are a lot of things. There are a lot of things here. Look at this very worried looking dinosaur alien thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. Okay, it's not a dinosaur, it's a dragon. <laughs> this elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. I, I just slime. I am outraged. As a slime, I'm outraged. Okay, that doesn't really look like a slime. It's a very hairy thing. Where are all these rooms over here? Oh my gosh, look at this guy! <laughs> he seems busy. He does seem busy. What about this bucket? The bucket seems busy too. You hear a shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. Put, no put. Interesting. Oh, room surface. Got my cinnamon bun. Oh. <clears throat> okay, no, I don't have a cinnamon bun, do I? Hmm. Yeah, I could get one of those from the Snowden town if I wanted to. It's locked from the inside. Oh, room surface. Got my CT. Oh, I think I used that too. Yeah, I use that too. <laughs> so I need a cinnamon bun and CT and something to put under the, the last door. I don't know what though. So we got an elevator. We got. Oh, it's an MTT brand burger emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day. No, oh, it's like a McDonald's or something. Look at that sub in the top left corner. That's really cool. Let's see, what can we buy? Staffe, Glam Burger, Legendary Hero. And steak in the shape of man Metaton's face. <laughs> it heals 60 health points. I don't really, uh, I don't even have 60 health points. So I guess we'll go with the, uh, the cheap one. Staff, eh? Yeah, sure. Let's just buy one. Oh my gosh, that face! 
Thanks, you have a fabulous day. Can we talk to this guy? What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I chummy with the if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. Wow. So I wanted to be an actor. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna talk to me. Okay, cool. I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've got some time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old, and I've already wasted my entire life. <laughs> Romance advice. Listen, I like you, little buddy, so I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with it attractive people, unless you're one of them. They're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. <laughs> Let's see more about this story. So I went out to the alley to see those two ladies and, uh, you know, see what happened next. Then my boss uh, saw me and asked what I was doing. <laughs> I was so startled the hamburgers in my pocket tumbled out into the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But, as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. <laughs> Let's ask about Metaton. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. <laughs> oh man, why is Metaton bad? Uh, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. Every time we go to try to change something for the better, he vetoes and says that's not how they do it in the surface. Oh right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. What? Why else is MTT bad? Wait, Metatron... MTT is shot for Metatron? I never even thought that. Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. You know, one time, I bought one of those, uh, kits online to, uh, make yourself more rectangular? They don't work. <laughs> Let's ask about his future. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped in this stupid job forever. But wait, there's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgard gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's got to be a second chance out there for me, for everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. <laughs> Can we sell anything to this guy? Um, why not try selling to the two chicks in the alley? Okay. Let's get out of here. Uh, ooh. This person is a hand. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 gil a room. Interested? Do not stay. Okay. Do let us know if you change your mind. Have a sparkular day. Okay, what's up here? The core. Oh, let's not go to the core just yet. I want to explore a bit more. So the elevator to the surface doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, the elevator is in use. Interesting. Save it real quick, and then we're going to go outside and we're going to talk to the two ladies. Up to the right, yes. <laughs> Scribbled on the wall. Oh, it's a shop! Hey, check it out! Yeah, check it out! Uh, let's talk to these guys. Burger pants! <laughs> oh, that guy from the store! Yuck! What a creep! Yeah, he's a creep! But he's kind of cute, too! Come on, Caddy! Don't you have any standards? Nope! <laughs> More burger pants. Okay, like, the annoying thing is... He'd just be... He'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird. Then acts like it's our fault that he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those glam burgers. He dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were, like, going to share them. Really? I wasn't. Chatty! <laughs> Let's ask about these two. I'm Bratty, and this is my best friend, Catty. I'm Catty, and this is my best friend, Bratty. Meow meow. Meow meow. <laughs> Let's ask about the wares. The stuff inside is like... Totally wicked expensive. But like, this stuff we found is like... Totally wicked cheap. You should... 
Like, tell me we can buy all of it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the origin of the wares. Let's let's press a bit more on that information. I mean, like, where does one get food or guns or? We found it in the garbage. Oh, uh, you just let slip. It's good garbage. It's really good garbage. <laughs> origin of the garbage. <laughs> where did we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store. Duh. Waterfall, mostly. I found it in a dumpster. <laughs> Let's go Metaton. Oh my god, Metaton. He's like, my robot husband. Actually, he's like, my robot husband. I think we're like, both going to marry him. We're both like, already married to him. He just like, doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Origin of Metaton, oh. So like, Dr. Alphys built Metaton, right? That's like, what they tell you. But like, Metaton always likes like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Apis was an old friend. But they're like not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. Oh my god, Alphys! Oh my god, Alphys! She used to live in our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. And then she became the Royal Scientist. Yeah, we haven't even seen her in forever. The Royal Scientist, huh? So Alphys is always like... Thought so Asgard is a super cutie. So like, I'm pretty sure she... Made Betaton to like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her what to do with all this ask her to do all this size stuff for him. But nobody's like seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must like just stay in her lab all day. Like live a little girl. Yeah, like us. More about Asgore, okay. <laughs> oh my god, he's the total goober. He's a big fluffy goofball. Like I love that guy. He's so nice. Like God, we're like... God, we're like... So hyped for the destruction of humanity! So hyped for the destruction of humanity! Oh, man. So let's see what we could buy from this, these people. Junk food. Uh, uh, has a big bite out of the gross. An empty gun. Bullets not included. Cowboy hat. 12 defense. Plus one defense. Weird. Attack up one one. I don't want to use that. A mystery key. Probably to someone's house. Oh man, I am totally tempted by this mystery key. I'm buying it. You never know. You never know in this game when something might come in handy like that, so I'm buying it. Sold out. <laughs> Patty, we're gonna be rich. We're all sold out. Meow. Oh, that's uh, because I was clicking on it again. Can I sell anything to these guys? Thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god. Can you go get us some glam burgers? Glam burgers? Huh. Wait, I'll pay you a thousand gold if you get Metaton to autograph my butt. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, hmm. Thinking about what I should do. Should I backtrack a bit and get the CT and the the cinnamon bun? And whatever, a glam burger. Right, I can get a glam burger here. Let's just see if buying a glam burger will uh, achieve anything. Wait, I don't get the blank glam burger here. No. Excuse me. Alright, let's go get a glam burger. Okay, it's 120 gold, but I might be able to do something with it, so let's get out of here. And we'll see if we can send, sell them a glam burger. Alright, I've got a glam burger. Oh my god, is that a glam burger? Oh my god, Kitty! God, Caddy, try to have some self-control. Sorry. Because they obviously brought that glam burger for me. No way. Do I don't get to sell it, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I don't get to sell it. They just have a little bit of extra dialogue if I bring a glam burger. Okay, well, you know, it's food. I can use it. Uh, but I think I'm going to backtrack a little bit and see what happens if I get those two items, uh, the CT and the cinnamon bun.
hotel. I just went and trekked halfway across the world to get the CT and the cinnamon bun. I'm gonna see what happens if I deliver them. Ooh, room service. Got my CT. Yes, I do. You pull the CT under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want. Here's a tip. You got 99 gold. Oh, okay. I suppose money's fine, right? Oh, room service. Got my cinnamon bun? Yes, here you go. You flatten the cinnamon bun until it's paper thin and then you slide it under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want it. Here's the tip. You got 99 gold. Oh. Do they have do they want anything else? Thanks, Citrillion. What about this person? Thanks a million! <laughs> it's locked with the inside. Hmm. What was this last one again? You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. Let's just put something. But you didn't have anything appealing. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, guys, I'm not really sure if that was worth the trip, but I did it anyway, just for you. Uh, so thank you for watching. Unfortunately, we are out of time for today, but I really do appreciate you being here with me. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Next time on Undertale. I'm gonna check the elevator. I have no doubt in my mind that the elevator is probably broken, and we're gonna have to go down the corridor anyway. Let's see. The elevator isn't working! <laughs>